If you're planning a camping trip to the Finger Lakes and want to learn more about Samson State Park and the Finger Lakes, you're watching the right video. We look forward to sharing with you why Samson State Park is the gateway to the Finger Lakes and a great destination park. Let's get started. Right now, let's discuss the price and site amenities. Later, we'll discuss things to do in the park. You will want to stay until the end for the one little known secret to Samson State Park. Oh, so you don't miss this? If you have a tall RV, you will want to plan your route as there is a low bridge just north of the entrance. The New York State Park System keeps pricing for these sites very reasonable. Details on their pricing can be found at parks.ny.gov. However, pricing is about $30 to $45 per night based on the site. Cottages are also available for rent and there is an on-site marina for boat launching and docking. RV sites are pretty big with a lot of grass. We notice many pads on the sites are small, so people with big rigs need to be mindful with site selection. However, our 35-foot Class A fit well. Electric is interesting because two sites share each electric post. So extension cords are generally required for each hookup. There are water faucets located throughout the loops, and we did see some people filling their freshwater tanks using long hoses. We use them to refill drinking water jugs. The pump out station is located by the registration office. If you're staying more than a few nights, a portable waste tank is recommended. See notes in our description for one we recommend. Fresh water is located at the pump out station too. Located on the sites are fire pits and picnic tables. Also included in each loop are full bathrooms with decent showers and normal stalls and toilets. The bathroom also has a laundry tub. The bathroom by the beach was also nice. Keep watching, you will want to know what is lurking in the fishing pier. Speaking of the beach, we spent a lot of time there. We didn't swim, however the beach, playground, and marina are amazing. We camped in early June before New York schools were out for the summer. Our best guess is that they provide full services for the season after school gets out. It seemed like the beach concessions and swimming were closed early in our trip. Then when school got out, everything opened that weekend. Even the water at the beach was seemingly cleaned up overnight and lifeguards were on staff. Let's go into details on the recreation available in the park and watch until the end so you can see how to use Samson State Park to enjoy the rest of the Finger Lakes. The playground at the beach was very nice with new equipment and a lot of space. Be warned, much of the equipment is for getting dizzy. There are merry-go-rounds and spinning items as well as balance items and slides and forts. There is equipment for all ages and benches for those that want to take a break by the lakeshore. While some were playing at the playground, others were fishing on the fishing pier. Tucked in the woods behind the lifeguard station is a bathroom with space to change in and out of swimsuits. If you get tired of the beach, there are also a couple of bridges behind the bathroom that are fun to explore. Concessions are available on the hill behind the playground. It wasn't open when we camped, but it looks nice. We enjoyed our time on the fishing pier. The water was clear. All sizes of fish were swimming beneath us. They're big monsters in the Finger Lakes. We tried all the bait in our tackle bags, but unfortunately didn't catch anything. Maybe if we had worms, we would have fared better. Still, fishing here was a lot of fun. One sunset, we noticed fish jumping to the right of the beach closer to the parking lot. One word of caution on the fishing pier. As you can see by the pictures, there were snakes poking their heads out of the concrete cracks. We noticed at least six at the same time sunning themselves from various locations in the pier. We also saw a similar snake sunning themselves on a 2 by 8 floating in the water. If you are finding value in this video, subscribe to be alerted to similar content when it's available from us. Bring your sports equipment to Samson State Park. We played tennis every day, the basketball court is nice too, and both are within easy access of Loop 1. The volleyball court is located near the campground office. There are miles of paved roads that are perfect for rollerblading, razoring, skateboarding, bicycling, walking, and jogging. I'm sure there is vehicle traffic, but these roads aren't used frequently today. You may want or have to wear blaze orange during hunting season. We love learning from our community. Comment below on what you look for in a campground. Improvements to the park include new cottages, the marine upgrades, and new campsites. All these items are along the shoreline. Here is the main reason we stayed at Samson State Park and stay until the end to learn where to catch the best sunset photos and learn the little known secret to the park. We chose to camp at Samson State Park because Watkins Glen, Buttermilk Falls, and other state parks were already booked solid. We feel this was a benefit in disguise. Samson State Park was more quiet than the other parks we visited. Watkins Glen is in the city and seemed busier and less our style. The town was very tight with a lot of cars and great boutiques, restaurants, and stores. We just don't like that type of camping. We also got to see a lot of the countryside, which again was beautiful. The surrounding area is quiet and country. We really felt like it was similar to Michigan's Upper Peninsula. If you need supplies, there are a lot of Dollar Generals and a few gas stations with convenience stores. Restaurants are limited, but we found Little Venice in Trumansburg. The restaurant has an ambiance all its own, and the bar can get a little rowdy. We enjoyed the food and the service. Most of the wineries are south of Samson State Park, 
While we were in the Finger Lakes and Samson State Park, we hiked Buttermilk Falls, Watkins Glen Gorge, Taganic Falls, and Robert Tremon Gorge. On our way back from Watkins Glen, we stopped at many wineries. We have videos of all these experiences, and we'll share those at the end of this video. Samson State Park is located on the eastern shore of Seneca Lake. If you look at a map, it is about two-thirds of the way up the lake. The site began as a naval base during World War II and then as an Air Force base during the Korean War. The state of New York bought the base from the military and turned it into a state park. Remnants of the military are all over the place. The road network seems odd for the state park, and you can imagine how the layout looked as a military base. The mess hall building still stands near the basketball and tennis courts. The museum is an original building. A quick look at Google Maps shows the satellite view of transition and progress. Northeast of the campground, you can see many buildings still upright, and as of today, an excavator. It appears they are still removing buildings. Further east is the massive ammunition depot. You can only begin to imagine what this location was like 70 years ago. Make sure you head down to the beach at sunset for the best photos to end your day. To continue planning your trip to the Finger Lakes, watch this video next.